What is up you guys? It's Mackenzie and welcome back to my channel. It's nice to meet you if you're new. Before we get into today's video, make sure you subscribe down below and hit the bell so you don't miss any videos I post. No long time, no chat, but I kind of underestimated the transition and getting used to everything. And honestly, probably trying to commit to vlogs was not my smartest idea of the year. But I officially survived the first week of classes and figured, you know, why not break out the vlog? Why not just do it? See what happens. So today is Monday, August 24th. It is the second week of classes today. I don't have classes on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I'm kind of declaring today a self-care Monday. We're going to make it a great productive day. So first, you guys know I'm going to start off with my green shot. I literally haven't had my greens the whole first two weeks I've been here. I left them at home and my parents came to visit me yesterday and they brought me greens. I'm so happy I can take my green shot again. Alright y'all, so now to start off this productive day, obviously we need some breakfast because it's the most important meal of the day and I'm trying to eat at least one or two meals in my dorm. I'm still trying to figure out the whole meal plan thing and figure out how much I'm actually eating in the cafeteria and how much money I actually need on my meal plan, all of that fun stuff. But I do want to make sure I'm fueling my body properly and there's not a ton of healthier options in the cafeteria. So I'm trying to find like little stuff like this that I can just cook in my microwave in my dorm. We have a communal kitchen in our hall, but it's currently closed for COVID. So I don't really have a ton of options for like cooking myself meals. So I've looked into like an Evolve meal plan or just something like that, just to make sure I'm eating and filling my body with what it needs. Cause also on the day I don't have classes, I'm not likely to go all the way to campus. It just depends on the mood, the vibe, honestly, but we are trying the Kodiak Cakes protein packed oatmeal. It has 12 grams of protein in it. And I just now realized this, don't know how I didn't realize this yesterday, but I picked up the <laughs> chocolate chip. So it does have dairy in it, but it'll be okay. I'll be fine. Shouldn't be that bad. Also guys, I got a fish yesterday. Look how cute he is. My parents bought him for me. There's a lot of poop in his little container, but I can't move him over to his big container until tonight at like 7.30 because he has to stay in this for 24 hours before I move him over. But I'm so happy. Okay, so this is a fail. I put way too much almond milk in it. <laughs> but they taste super yummy. So now I know for next time, I didn't have a measuring cup, so I kind of eyeballed it, which was not smart of me because there's way too much in here. But while I eat this, I'm gonna catch up on some YouTube videos and just relax for a few minutes before I start working. All right, so now I just set up my little workspace with my cute little fishy back there. And I'm going to go through my syllabus, syllabi for this week and kind of make a to-do list for every day on what I have to do and get done before class, just so I'm prepared. Literally every store in Fort Myers is out of printers right now. So I haven't been able to print the syllabi yet. <laughs> so I'm kind of just taking it week by week and writing down the assignments that I have. As you guys can see, it's for the 24th through the 30th. So it's essentially just honestly a lot of reading. 
Thankfully, my 3 to 4.15 class on Tuesdays and Thursdays this week, we're meeting one-on-one -on -one with our professor for only like a block of 15 to 20 minutes, I think. So it's not like I'll actually have class, which is nice. It's my desk calendar. You can see the flip sheet of classes. I didn't really put anything in it, but I think I'm going to use this to write out stuff that is not school related. So like obviously I have class just so I know, but Wednesday and Friday, I'm hanging out with my first temporary big. Saturday, we have a new member retreat. Sunday, we have stage two at 1 p.m. So like that's all sorority stuff. And then here, I think a few of my friends and I are going to get bazookis at BJ's. So I just wrote that in just so I remember. And then I'm looking at um, a Christian group on campus called Ignite and they meet every Tuesday at 8 p.m. So I just wrote that in so I would have it. So with the plan for the rest of the day, I'm gonna take a really quick shower just to kind of wake myself up a little bit. And obviously this hair needs it. And then I'm going to start working on my homework that's due tomorrow. Obviously it's Monday and Tuesdays are my class days. So I want to make sure I get those readings done before tonight just so I can enjoy my night and relax and face them gear some more guys on me because that's like our thing that we're doing. And depending on how long that takes, I may start working on my asynchronous online classes, which those all the work is pretty much due Sunday at 11.59. We work at our own pace, which is really nice. I love courses like that. We don't have a meeting time or anything, so it's really just do it on your own time, which I really love. But there is a possibility that I may be going home this weekend, so I want to make sure I'm staying caught up on all my homework so I can enjoy the time at home if I do go home. And if not, I'll just have a homework-free weekend, which will be super nice either way. So I want to make sure I am working on those. Out of the shower, obviously, I have um a chapter to read for my rhetoric of social movements class a quiz to take for that class a survey to take for my civic engagement class because we're meeting one-on-one -on -one with our professor this week instead of class time like i believe i mentioned i have a chapter well this i have to reach out to my professor about because i don't really know what's happening there i don't know where to find that quote-unquote additional reading so i need to reach out to him and then this is homework for my asynchronous classes that's due Sunday. So if I get to that today, we shall see. All right, so I put a face mask on and it's going on for like 15, 20 minutes while I start my homework. I'm going to start with the one-on-one -on -one survey because I'm pretty sure we have to fill it out to know when we're meeting with them tomorrow or Thursday. So I'm going to start with that. It should be really easy. And then I'm going to start reading my chapters. Now I know it's going to look like I'm just playing on my computer, but I promise all, pretty much all my textbooks are online. So I promise I'm doing all that. multiple choice type thing. I don't really know what I was expecting, but it's done. So I'm about to um, take this towel off my head, wash out my face, do my skincare, and then we get to start the most fun thing ever, which is reading. for that 
and I have to take it by 10.30 tomorrow morning, but I think I'm just gonna knock it out now to get it over with. It's literally only five questions, so it shouldn't be bad at all. And then after this quiz, I'm going to read on, read on? Move on to my other readings and hopefully be done with homework for the day. I literally took three full pages of notes for this one chapter. Why do I feel the need to be extra? The world's going to never know. Alright y'all, so I just finished the quiz. I got a 4 out of 5. Which is annoying. But it's done. So we're now going to move on to my other readings and trying to figure out the PR reading. And... Yeah, it's gonna be a time. Just looked everywhere on campus for the additional reading for my PR class. I can't seem to find it, so I just emailed him. And now we're going to wait for a response. That was the only thing left on my homework to-do list for today that I need in order for preparation for tomorrow's classes. So I think I'm going to look in what homework I have to do for my asynchronous classes, possibly read a chapter or two, watch a lecture. We'll see how it goes. for my fundamentals of human communication class but as you can tell because i can barely say those words my brain is fried i don't think i can read any more information and actually retain it so i'm done with homework for the day i'm just gonna have a chill night fix myself some dinner facetime garrison and i get to put my little fishy in his tank tonight i think i decided i'm gonna name him renegade i don't know why yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my first vlog back. Be expecting more. These vlogs are my favorite videos to film for you guys. If you would like to stalk any of my social media, everything is down below in the description. Feel free to hit me up. My DMs are always open for prayer requests or anything along those lines. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you soon.